What's up everybody? Welcome to the Best Family Homestead. And so today, the rest of the spring clean was always on the books. That's what I was planning on doing. However, I'm sure you can notice the goats out over there. Uh, as usual, having to change plans a little bit. So, we had had some stuff come down in the storm, which that was an old house I built. And uh, all these trees here are about to start getting torn down or cut down to make a pole barn and clear up some pasture. But the reason I can't start on any of that or my rest of my spring cleaning is because of Oakley. I'll show you Oakley in a minute. If you guys have met Oakley before, he's my big wannabe bad, bad billy goat. Uh, so right here I had this pallet I just put up and I had the great idea like, oh, a pallet's pretty awesome. A pallet will be a good gate. And I want you guys to look at this. This is this pallet with the hinges. That is, uh, that's what Oakley thought of my pallet gate idea. Ah, speak of the devil. Oakley, did you do it? Oakley, did you rip it apart? See, yes, Dad. Yes, yes, I did rip it apart. Oakley's a big goober. And as you can see, he has some big old massive horns. And he decided he didn't like my pallet gate. And that he was going to destroy my pallet gate. Uh, yeah. So I had put this pallet up just for the last day. Uh, last night. To try and keep them in. Obviously it didn't work. But it gives you a better idea of what Oakley did. There's one pallet gate I built. And I'd even reinforced it with extra screws and wood thinking it would help. Nope. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, like I said, this is getting ready to be cleaned up here in the near future. Got this one little metal gate that was been here for a while. And uh, just to show you an idea of Oakley. Yeah, you can see where he has head butted and bended this metal gate and busted it apart. But it's still better than what I've got. And just for time's sake, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that gate right there and uh, I'm gonna put some new holes in here. We're gonna put that gate right here and I don't know, we're gonna take it down and see how it fits between those two trees, but those two trees will be coming down real soon as well. <sighs> Every time you have plans for what you're gonna do, some kind of crazy critter changes in the plans. And uh, having new babies around here, wanna get the gates built. There you can see one of the newer babies. And newer, that, about, that one's about three or four weeks old. We've got, right here we've got Clarabelle. Clarabelle's name Clarabelle because she looks like a cow. And this little girl, she was just born about three days ago. She is a sugar britches. I'm sorry, CB. CB doesn't like me holding her much. This is the softest little baby goat. And she is a sugar britches. Sugar britches. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh my goodness. So we are going to go, here you go baby. Here's your baby, there's your baby. There's your baby. 
that little tail go. So we're going to switch gears from spring cleaning to not goat fence repair. Uh, Oakley made sure that couldn't be repaired. Goat fence replacement. Goat gate replacement. And then, uh, whew, then maybe we'll get back to some cleaning or something. Never ends around here, does it? All right, so the first thing we got to do is take this gate down. Yeah, Oakley's made a mess for this one too. Good. We're going to be able to get our hinges out of here. And you guys are here copper whining a little bit <laughs> as we do this. And one of the reasons is copper just doesn't understand why the goatees don't want to be friends. Uh, he's gotten his butt kicked just a little bit <laughs> uh, by even some of the smaller goats. And he just wants to be friends with everything. But I don't think the goats share his sentiment for being friendly. Now you can see the damage that these screwing hinges here did to did to the tree. But originally these trees weren't even gonna be here this long. Uh, now there was this gate. Life got in the way. But uh, now we're about to get started on building some good hard fence and getting some pasture cleaned up and getting this stuff done. So right now I'm gonna take this gate over, see if I can save a little time just for temporary, probably like the next couple weeks, putting it between those other two trees. Um, this, this gate between those other two trees uh, until I get the goats back permanent where I want them. So we're gonna go check that out, see if it'll work. All right, so I think that'll work. And especially uh, if I put the hinges on this side, that way when Oakley decides he wants to bust out, he has to bend it back the other way. So we're gonna get the drill and we are going to take all the old screws and hinges out of this tree. Uh, drill a big hole, just a little bit smaller than our other hinges. So we can screw those in, get this fence or this gate put in so that I don't have goats out in the front yard or in the road. 
<laughs> these guys are ridiculous i'm telling you it's uh never a dull moment all right so i've got my drill got everything here let's take these out You guys can hear Copper. Uh, he's attempting to make friends with the goats. And you can see the fun stuff that old Oakley has done with the hinges. All right, there they are, aftermath of a big ding-dong billy goat. And in case it, none of y'all, I don't know if any of you folks out there have tried taking a pallet apart. With a sledgehammer, crowbar, wonder bars, a pallet tool, they're hard. they are hard to take apart. They are hard to bust. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy how hard these things are to get apart. And you can see that silly billy goat. He did the job. Apparently that's the best way to take a pallet apart. Turn a billy goat loose on it. And copper. Copper really, really isn't being too smart. He thinks he wants to... <laughs> friends copper pot you're going to get hurt don't worry i'm keeping a good eye on him best thing for a farm dog is to learn to respect all the other animals i don't ever want him to chase any of the goats uh or try and hurt them so might take a little bit of a little bit of a hit to the noggin or something but you can see they're a little bit worried about them, not too much, but they're going to uh, be friends. I have no doubt. Copper makes everybody his friend, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill my holes in this tree right here uh, so I can put the hinges in, especially with these hinges being a little bit old and busted up. They're going to be kind of hard to get in. And you guys know me, I don't, I do not like spending money when I don't have to. So we're going to reuse these hinges because this is just going to be temporary. Uh, this time it really is going to be just temporary uh, because all this fence is going to be getting torn down shortly and uh, new fence built. It'll work for next week or two. Unless Oakley gets a wild hair up his butt.
right. One. Down a little bit right here. I'm right under this one. I think probably right there will work. <laughs> Copper, give it up. there go ahead and loosen this hinge bolt here I think that looks pretty good. So all I gotta do now is tighten down the bolts and cut a new piece of chain to fit around this bigger gate. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, let me go get the bolt cutters and uh, we'll get a new piece of 
chain up on here. And then maybe we'll get started back on some spring cleaning after all. Hmm, who knows? <laughs> Copper! Copper, they don't want to be your friends. They don't want to be your friends. All right, so got this one back up. Might be Oakley resistant. I'm definitely not going to be, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be, I cannot say it's Oakley proof. It'll keep the big ones in. So uh, now I'm going to show you one of the nice parts about having a bunch of spoiled goats, uh, fat spoiled goats makes life a little bit easier. You got one stubborn mama. Not real hard to get her in, unless she's being kind of dumb. Come on, mama, look. Mama, right here. She's right here. Hey, mama, mama. CB, look, right here. CB, CB, CB. Come on, come on. Come on, she's right here, come on. Come on, come on. I'm not going to hurt her. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've got it right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's right there, see? She is just fine. You don't have to be crazy. Well. There's my good adventure for the day. All right, guys. Well, time to lock this gate up. 
and get back to some other work like cleaning hope you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe and share we'll see you guys next time